Got a little review for Monday, December 18th. Try to live stream today. Wow, so far I really don't like live streaming. It was totally taken away from my focus. Probably keep trying at least a few times, but dang, I really just like trading that live stream. It's a whole different animal. I had an ES chart up today running two different auto strategies that I built. I'm not having these trade for me automatically, but I'm having the signals print so I can kind of gauge whether I want to go short if a signal prints and just use my own brain kind of style. But these two were good for a few points, two or three points on the ES. The strategy only paints the last signal. I actually had a signal down here for a long uh, green arrow. But since this green arrow printed, it took away the last green arrow. But I had a nice green arrow from my strategy print there. I had a nice move up. This auto strategy stops trading it. One of them stops at 950 and the other one stops at 1020. Some good back testing results, two to four thousand dollar months. So trading one contract less than an hour a day. So I thought I'd leave them up as indicators on my chart. My NQ chart was up all day, but I didn't realize it was totally frozen. It wasn't even loading data for some reason. Didn't notice that till after the stream. I also had Ninza's new supercharged cosmic indicator loaded up on my standard NQ chart. I've been really impressed with it actually. Today it didn't do so much, but I just looked back for the past two weeks I've got it on my one minute chart. I've got it set so it says cosmic on it so I can tell it apart from the other signals. The other triangle and arrow signals, those are from solar wind. But this plot and this upper background and lower background and the cosmic signal, that's all from the cosmic. Then I've got my go-to volume delta down here. Got VWAP, got a moving average. The moving average crossover is painting the candlesticks. It was doing a great job calling longs and shorts today. Green candles, red candles, green candles. We had a nice bounce off of VWAP today. Tons of delta coming in all morning to the upside. We pulled back to VWAP, bounced right off of VWAP. Bunch more strong bullish delta. We made it up to whole number. Our candle started turning red. I got a little short on it, whole number. I did all right today, up 320 bucks. I've been using these solar winds in accordance with the background that the cosmic indicator prints. So only taking the green trend changes and the green pullback arrows when this cosmic background is green and same with the shorts. Had some good solar wind signals today too. Also just simple price action with the 20 SMA here. I mean look at the wick on this candle, the open. Had a nice close right above the 20, popped up a bit. Came back down to the 20 SMA, bounced off a little bit. Had a nice close below the 20, came down to VWAP. Had a little hesitation at the 20 again when we break above the 20 SMA off to the races up to R1 pivot point. It's a pretty mellow market today. Was able to get some good reads in. Here's the cosmic indicator from Friday. Had a nice short there, nice long there. That short wasn't that great, but I'm not someone that's going to just take these signals as soon as they print for no reason. I mean, we've had a nice strong move to the upside there. This is more just like a retracement. We got stuck right at the center of the opening range right there. Bounced off that nicely. Uh, here's Thursday. Nice cosmic signal to the upside. Cosmic signal to the downside. Again, we had this nice move up. This is more like a retracement with the uptrend. But once the second cosmic signal appears definitely taking that more seriously we had a nice sell signal on that trade a little later on in the morning before 11 
nice cosmic signal to the upside, cosmic signal to the downside. Uh, here's Wednesday, I think. Market open, get a nice cosmic signal to the upside, cosmic signal to the downside. I'm definitely going to have it on my charts for a while, see how things go. I tell you what I'm not going to do, I'm not going to take part in that Apex promotion. That thing is kind of ridiculous, I think. They've got a pass in one day promotion going on right now. I mean, if that's your thing, go for it. It's only 71% off the evaluations and they're promoting this whole pass in one day thing, which I think just promotes gambling, in my opinion, promotes bad trading habits. I don't know what they're thinking with that, honestly, but they're still a great company. I'm still using them, still love them, but that promotion is just kind of weird. I have a feeling they're still going to do a 90% off sale before the end of the year. So that's what I'm hoping for. And if you're liking the looks of any of these indicators that I've got, they're all from Ninza. There's a link in the description. There's a huge 60% off sale going on for the entire month of December. I think it's the biggest sale they've ever done. You can use code MONKEYMAN60. Everything's in the description. Thanks for watching today's market review. Hope you had a wonderful trading day. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more.